Hello students, welcome to the next session of Software Engineering. Today we shall be talking about the third chapter of Unit 2 which is related to Git and GitHub. So generally in a software company when developers are developing any software project, they do n number of changes in the code they are writing. So it will be very tedious task for them to maintain the changes, okay, to understand which change is creating error, okay, how is this change working. So all this tracking of these changes uh, becomes a very tedious task for them. Here is where we will be using the version control system. So version control system will help us to track whatever changes we are doing in the code that uh, we are writing for the particular project, managing those particular changes. And it also helps in collaborating with various repositories, databases and all, so that we can ensure that our project is running very smoothly and efficiently. So in today's session, we will be talking about what is version control system, how many types do we have, what is Git, how exactly does this Git work, what is GitHub and what are the various features we have for GitHub. So let's start with understanding what exactly is this version control system. So version control system is basically a tool that is used by all the developers, it, which helps in tracking the changes that we are making. Okay, so it will be saving the code in the form of version. So every time you make a new change in your code, it will be saved as a new version. So why, ha why we have to use all this? The first thing is you will have a history of whatever changes you are doing. Second, it will help the developers to under who are working on a single project to understand what are the changes that, that are happening in that particular project. Third, it will be easy for us to identify whatever errors we are getting in that particular project. Okay, if we are not able to rectify that particular error, then we can move back to the previous version and we can use that previous version instead of the latest version. Okay, so because of these various reasons, we have to use this version control system while we are developing a particular project. Now let us see what are the different types of version control systems we have. Basically, we have three different types of version control systems. Let's talk about the first one, which is called as a local version control system. So here, in local version control system, what happens is, inside a single local computer, whatever modifications we are doing in our project, everything is saved in the form of versions. That means, inside a single computer only, you will be having the version history or the changes that we are making in this particular file inside this single computer. So what is the advantage of it? Everything is in a single system only, so it is easy for us to uh, keep track of it. But what is the disadvantage? If this local system crashes, then the complete data related to this project is lost. That is the reason from the local version system, they have introduced the second type of version control system, which is called as the centralized version control system. So what they have done in this centralized VCS, instead of saving the data of the project in a single local system, they have created a server repository. Okay, In some server location, in remote location, they have created a server or a repository. And from different, different systems, different, different developers started saving their history or saving their project information in this server. Okay, now what is the advantage of this? In your local system, even if it is crashed also, you have a copy of it in your server system. But what is the disadvantage? What if the server completely fails? Then the complete project that is saved by n number of developers is totally lost. So they have moved to the third type of version control system, which is called as the distributed version control system. So what are we doing in distributed version control system? Here, we will be saving the files or the project related files not only in the local systems but also in the remote systems. Okay, so you will be having n number of copies of the project in different different locations. So even if the server or any of the local system fails also, you are having multiple copies. You can take copy from any of the system. Okay, so this is called as the distributed version control system. So now what happens is as we keep on, as the project size increases, the number of code lines that we are writing also increases. So it will be very difficult for the developers to manage whatever changes we are doing. So if the number of lines of the code are increasing, then if the modifications that we make also, it will be very difficult for us to keep the track. 
So here we cannot use the local or the centralized version control system. So here is where we will be using the distributed version control system and one of the tool of this distributed version control system is your Git. So what is Git? Git is basically a distributed version control system. It's a tool which will be helping the developers to track the changes that they are making. So Git is basically installed in the local system. That means every developer will be having their own Git software installed. Okay, so they can have their changes that are tracked with the help of this particular tool. Okay, right, so it was basically introduced in 2005. Now, let's see what are the various features that we have for this Git. The first feature you have is it is free and open source. The second is it will be helping us to collaborate with GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket. So, any remote system can have a collaboration with this local Git. Third, it will be using a concept called as branching. What is this? We will be learning in the further sessions. Next, it will be keeping track of the full history of whatever changes we do in our particular project. Right? Now, let us see how exactly does this Git work. Git basically saves the project that we are uh, developing in three different areas. The first area is called as the working directory. Second area is called as staging area. Third is called as the Git repository. Working area is a area where working directory is an area where you are actually doing the changes in your project. So it could be in an Eclipse ID or it could be in a Notepad. It could be in a Notepad plus plus. So you open one IDE and in that you will be doing modifications in your project. So that area is called as the working directory. Now the second area you have is the staging area. Here is where you are deciding which changes that you have made to be saved and which changes need not be saved. That is called as the staging area. And the third one you have is Git repository where you are finally uh, saving all the changes that you have made in your particular project. Let me give you a very small example. You have decided to go for a trip. Okay, so from your wardrobe, you have removed all the clothes or whatever nice clothes you want to wear for your trip, you have removed all that. That is called as working directory. Now from the clothes that you have removed from your wardrobe, you will select few pieces and you will pack them into a suitcase. That is called a staging area. Now finally, say suppose you are going in a flight, you will check in that suitcase. That is called as the Git repository. Okay. So this is the three areas in which your uh, Git will actually be working. Okay. Working directory, staging area and Git repository. Now. Let's see what is the basic challenge with Git. So Git basically what happens is it will be helping us to do the changes or track the changes in one local system only. But what if we want multiple people who are residing in different different locations if they want to work together? Then Git is not going to help us. Here is where we will be using a platform called as GitHub. Okay, so what is GitHub? GitHub is basically a web-based platform. It's a remote repository where different developers who have developed their particular project using Git will collaborate together. Right? So what is GitHub? GitHub is a web-based platform or it is an online service where developers can store, manage, share their Git projects. What is Git project? A project which is keeping, I mean, a, a tool which is keeping track of whatever changes we have made in our project. That is called as Git project. Okay. So, n number of Git projects can collaborate together in this online tool, which is called as GitHub, maintained by different developers. So, you can store your projects, you can manage them, you can share the projects, you can do modifications. Okay. All these things can be done in your GitHub. So, it will help in collaborating and making sharing of the code and working together a ease, in an easier way. So let's look into what are the various key features that we have. The first key feature is GitHub is a graphical user interface. It's very easy to use. Second, it has n number of tools which are already inbuilt, which will be helping us for the management of the project, reviewing the code and all. Okay. It was owned by Microsoft. Right. So, the next one is, let us look into what are the various features we have for GitHub. Basically, GitHub offers n number of features. 
though it is a web website or a platform so a uh, social platform it helps us with different types of features the first one you have is the project management it will help you to keep track of changes you can do modifications and all the second one is secure code packages so you can decide whether you want to put your code public or private the sec third one you have is team collaboration it will help n number of developers to collaborate communicate share their particular code and all pull requests okay so you can uh take one particular latest version of your code and you can uh, take it into your local system from github you can take it into your local system you have n number of security features okay uh, not only that you can take projects from different different locations and different different developers also so that is called code hosting so these are the various features that your github will be offering so this is all about the introduction to git and github thank you